Hello everyone, I'm Luther and I'm here again to share some basic information how to use the fire extinguisher. But let me share first some information about the so-called triangle of fire. The triangle of fire composed of the following. First one is we have the oxygen, we have the heat, and we have the fuel. Those three are the components of the triangle of fire. If those three are present, then we can now produce a fire. Now, how we can suppress also the fire? We are now just going to remove at least one of the component of the triangle of fire. So any of the three, then we can now suppress the fire. And one of the techniques is now by using now the fire extinguisher, then we can suppress the fire. And then again, before going to the use, we need to discuss first the classes of fire because it has also the limitation. So it is very important also that we should know so that we know what will be the appropriate material that we are going to use to suppress the fire. So first, we have the, under the classes, we have the class A, fire, class B, class C, class D, and the class K. When we say class A, those are the ordinary combustible materials. For example, the paper, the wood, the cloth, those are the example of a class A fire. When we say class B, those are now the flammable liquid fire. For example, the fuel, the kerosene, the solvent, those are the example. And we have the class C fire. That is now the electrical fire. With the materials that is in a lime or it has the electricity, those are the example. And we have the class D. When you say class D, those are the so-called the metal fires. We have the aluminum, the magnesium, and so on. And we have also the class K. The class K that is now the very common in our place because that is also known as the kitchen fire. Like, let's say somebody in cooking some foods, then they encounter a fire, the frying pan, and so on. Those are the example of the kitchen fire. Now, if we know now the different classes of fire, then we know now the extinguishing agent that we are going to use, like in the case of this fire extinguisher. We have here the different mark A, B, C. So, in this type of fire extinguisher, it means that it has the capability to suppress the class A, class B, and the class C fire. So, for emergency use, this is very important because we usually observe the uh, common fire that we usually observe in our area. So, we can now use this type of fire extinguisher, especially if our house is very far from the road or we are in the mountainous area this is very important so we have here the basic parts of the fire extinguisher we have the lever we have the pin we have the hose and we have here the nozzle now if you were able now to buy a fire extinguisher it is also very important for you to know how you are now going to operate. We have the acronym PASS. The PASS letter P means pull the pin. This is now the pin of the fire extinguisher. This is now the lever. So pull the pin. Aim at the base of the flame and squeeze and sweep. 
sideways at the base of the flame. So this is how we are going to use the fire extinguisher. Now just in case the fire extinguisher available, it has the lock strip or the plastic strip. Then the guide that we are now going to use, it will now be the T-pass. The T means we need to twist the pin so that the lock strip will be removed. Then going now to the acronym PASS. Pull the pin, aim the nozzle, squeeze the lever, then swift sideways at the base of the flame. So this is now how we are going to use the fire extinguisher. Now the fire extinguisher, it will last around 30 seconds. So just in case we have the fire extinguisher, we need to consider the pressure gauge. We need to check that. That's why we are going to check at least monthly. If the pressure gauge is okay or the pressure is okay then we need to check if it's still okay we will do it like this so that the chemicals will now be activated then we need to check the sticker within this area you can see there the expiration here they put some expiration that will last for one year but actually the chemicals it will not expire but it is part of the biofire protection it is their technique to check because there is no other way to check if the pressure is still okay that's why they encourage that the content it will be refill every year but under the law there is no expiration so do not forget the basic operation of the fire extinguisher so we are now going to use or test now the fire extinguisher we are now going to set up our uh, scenario then with the help of our ROTC officers and our army reservists they are now going to try how to use the fire extinguisher. In our activity, hopefully that you learn something and we encourage that at least we should have our own fire extinguisher, especially in the far flung areas or we are very far from the road and it will be difficult for the view of fire protection to reach our area, especially in cases of an emergency, then we encourage now that we should have at least one fire extinguisher. So with that, so thank you very much and do not forget to like and subscribe in our YouTube channel.